humanity might only have 200 years left to find extraterrestrial life. If we fail, we could face a fate worse than extinction. A great filter exists in the universe, screening out 99.99% of all civilizations. We have no way of knowing if we have already passed it or if we are about to be filtered out. Even more unnerving, NASA discovered a pattern in 2019. Planets that give birth to life have an average lifespan of only 80 million years. Life on Earth, however, has existed for 3.8 billion years. We have survived far too long. What does this imply? Either Earth is exceptionally special, or we are on the verge of a catastrophic mass extinction. A more terrifying reality, however, is that humanity may have already exposed its location to the entire universe. Since 1974, we have been broadcasting the Arecibo message into space. It contains Earth's coordinates and our DNA sequence. Stephen Hawking warned before his death that this was like a primitive man holding a torch in a dark forest, yelling, I'm here. Humanity, however, did not listen. This leads to the even more terrifying dark forest theory. This theory posits that the universe is a dark forest, and every civilization is a hunter armed with a gun, forced to hide with extreme caution. You can never know if another civilization is benevolent or malevolent. The only safe course of action is to immediately destroy any other civilization you discover before it destroys you. The profound silence of the universe isn't evidence of our solitude. It may be that all other civilizations are hiding, and we, humans, are like fools, broadcasting our existence in every direction. Now, let's consider the numbers. The Milky Way contains 200 billion stars. By a conservative estimate, there should be 100,000 intelligent civilizations. Many should be millions of years more advanced than us. A civilization just one million years older could colonize the entire galaxy. So why haven't we found any sign of them? The answer is terrifying. There are only three likely possibilities. First, we are truly alone. Second, the zoo hypothesis, we are an exhibit being watched by advanced life. Or the third and most desperate possibility, the reason we find no one is that they are all dead. But what exactly is this universal killer? And if it's coming for us, what form will it take?